Okeechobee Steakhouse, we're giving the staff the option to wear masks or not, obviously the guests. At this time, it's not mandatory uh, to come in our business. But dealing with the new surge in COVID cases is a big deal, not only for Okeechobee Steakhouse owner Ralph Lewis, but for all restaurant owners. The probability of us getting shut down again, that would devastate the restaurant industry. Lewis says they're doing all they can to stay safe and reassure customers, most of whom he says don't want to wear masks. We fog at night. We sanitize, we have the ultraviolet light system in all of our business, same as the hospitals use. McDonald's just put a mandatory mask policy in place for all staff and customers. And at Boca Raton's Casa D'Angelo and its sister restaurants, all 400 employees must mask up again too. Made it mandatory that all our staff is gonna be wearing masks while they're at work. And, um, you know, we really wanted to provide that that sense of safety for our, our guests. Lewis says he hasn't done that at his two restaurants and meat market. They're closely monitoring CDC and health department guidance, and he says restaurants across Florida are doing the same. A lot of our staff's been vaccinated. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of them that's been vaccinated. They're in good health. We haven't seen a problem. Um, it's not something that they have came to us and said, look, we're really concerned. We want to wear the mask. Both managers agree they'll take whatever steps necessary to prevent another devastating shutdown. A lot of our staff, this is what they do. And, you know, if they're not able to work again, it's, it's really going to have uh, some serious impact on, on, you know, the state of Florida and, the, and the, the country as a whole. Try to keep businesses open, but the main thing is, is we have to be safe above and beyond everything. And the restaurant owners tell me that they're constantly checking in with their customers to ask them, do they feel safe and should the restaurants be taking any more precautions? Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.